Hey, what's going on? These are pro tips that I'm giving. So listen up. The first thing is the best way to enchant your armor, or at least the cheapest way. Um, it's different for each piece, but the leggings and the chest plate are the same. So uh, for the boots, you need seven enchantments for the like, god boots, and um. By my calculations and through testing, I've discovered that it's 70 XP overall that you need to enchant it fully, and the highest level that you need to be at one given time is 20. Uh, here is my uh, this is the um, thing. So, first you enchant thorns onto the boots, then you combine soul speed and death strider, then you enchant the boots with that, and you combine um, feather falling and protection, unbreaking and mending, then you combine those two, and you combine the boots to that. You can switch this up, try to make it cheaper. I think it's still like 70 or very close to that. So yeah, the leggings you need 32 overall, the first enchantment you need 12 because thorns is very expensive, just play through the same, helmet, you get, you enchant thorns onto it, you enchant protection onto it, you enchant, you combine um, respiration and aqua affinity, and you combine Unbreaking and mending, and you put one those on one after another. You get 46. That's the cheapest way for every single one. I will now show you. So first, by the way, I need to give myself the levels. First thorns, then combine soul speed and death strider, then you add that to the boots, then you combine for the falling and protection, combine with breaking and mending, add that. Boots are very difficult to get with all the things on them. Soul speed is expensive, thorns are expensive, everything else is relatively cheap. The leggings, I'll do the leggings now. Leggings just one by one. First thorns, because it's the most expensive, but wait, I need to enchant again. Or get levels. So Thorns, protection, unbreaking, mending. Same thing with the chest plate, helmet. First, it's Thorns, uh, I need to change again. The helmet is 46 overall, I believe. First thorns, then protection, then combine respiration and aqua affinity, then combine. Breaking and mending, then add this, then add that. The, this is the cheapest way. If you want, and uh, you can 
lessen the price just by enchanting with an enchanting table first. You could take out one or two or maybe even three of the requirements you need. So that's very useful. Um, next is a suspicious stew. These are all the flowers you can use in this suspicious stew. This is what each one of them gives you. Fire resistance, all the tulips give you weakness. Night vision, saturation, wither, weakness, blindness, jump boost, saturation, regeneration, poison. I'll stop here for a second. Then stop here for a second so you can get it down. Uh, in my opinion, these are the good ones. This one gives you regeneration, these two gives you saturation, and the saturation actually fills six and a half hunger bars or 13 like hunger points. These ones are jump boost, night vision, and fire resistance. Not really useful. If they lasted longer, they would be. These are all the bad ones. Tulips give you weakness. Wither Rose gives you um, wither. That one gives you, uh, I think, poison, and that one gives you blindness. And um, if you're concerned about like the amount of mushrooms you need, because the recipe is um, two mushrooms, a bowl, and a flower, but mushrooms are very easy to um, like multiply. All you need is something simple like this to keep it dark, but you need it high enough and wide enough so that the things can actually grow. Place this. Put a few bone meal down. With an iron axe, you can insta break it. Get a bunch more mushrooms. Cost barely anything. Do it for each. And that's super useful. Okay, with four. I multiplied it by like 10, so yeah, it's very easy. Uh, yeah, hey, I feel like uh, previous Top 3 Motion 3 may have um, undersold Suspicious Stew a little bit because it is actually extremely powerful to demonstrate. I got myself on low hunger. I'm gonna make Dandelion Stew, which gives me the saturation effect for a few like per. 0.25 of a second. I'll just show you how OP it is. See, I'm at, I'm what, seven hunger bars down. I eat one thing. I'm half hunger bar down. So, like, that's very useful and it's extremely overpowered. So, yeah. And then, I also will damage myself a little bit to show you the power of the regeneration one. So the good thing about stew is that it both fills your hunger bar and gives you a potion effect. So it's like a two for one, better than potions if you want to potions. But they potions can replace them. Um, so these are only good for like uh relatively early game, but once you get like super good armor and have like a decent food source you can just um use that instead so i'm gonna make the with the oxide daisy i'm like i'll get myself down a little bit more yeah okay. So, both pretty useful. And, um, if you're worried about getting the flowers, or even getting them, if you want to get the mushrooms in the first place, just find a dark oak forest or go to the nether. There's a bunch here. And if you're worried about getting the flowers, there's still, like, I see a whole bunch of dandelions, I see some oxide daisies over there. And if you want to, like, make a lot of them fast, find a swamp. Blue orchids are the only one that can spawn in a swamp. So just bone meal the swamp, and you'll get a whole bunch of these. Because, you know, you get flowers when you bone meal, so yeah. Uh, back to the other capital. Bye.
Um, these are all the different MLGs you can do. My opinion, boat is the most powerful because you don't really need any skill to do it. You can just get in the boat right off. You don't take any fall damage or anything. It's completely easy and risk-free. Um, twisting vines. That one is very useful because you can use it in the Nether, and it's pretty cheap. You know, find them all around in the warped valley. Yeah, they're pretty useful. And they're also they can also be used as so much scaffolding. Ender pearls, very useful. You don't even need to jump as well, but you do use it, unlike the boat. Slow falling, pretty useful, but it doesn't last very long. And uh, while you have it on you, like don't take any fall damage and you fall slower. But um, it is relatively expensive, and you can't get it if you don't have potions, and you need um, phantom membrane, water bucket, the one everyone talks about, but you need to MLG, and yeah. Sweet berries, uh, same MLG as the twisting vines, but um, they have less use, but they are slightly cheaper if you can find them. Ladders, place a ladder and then you start climbing it as you're falling. Difficult to do, but in the case all fall damage. Hay bale, you place it as you're falling down, and you land on it, and you, it reduces your fall damage. Lutra, just start flying as you're falling, and you can remove pretty much all fall damage. Saddle, this represents anything, any like animal you can ride on. Just get on an animal and negate fall damage. Cobweb, place under you, negates fall damage. This, not very useful, but it is a way to negate fall damage. It's hard to do, and it's, you can't actually place it. You just have to hope there's one below you. Honey block, you have to slide on the edge, and I'm pretty sure it also negates some fall damage if you just land on top of it. Scaffolding, um, it's very difficult to um, like actually place it, so I would say something really useful to negate fall damage if you're uh, there's already something there. Bed negates some fall damage. Vines similar to ladder. Slime block. That gets fall damage and you can bounce. Um, some of these are harder to get, so yeah. Fireworks, very useful. So I'll show you the best. Uh, you don't need all this dye, you only really need one, but I like to make them look good. This, 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 and this. And get that. Um, for now, I'm only going to craft this, just as a demonstration. Um, you can do this to do a little bit more damage, but it's like half a heart more. It can't kill them, and it's not really that useful. But when you don't do that, you can have it. You can use two gum powder to make the range longer. If you didn't do that. See, that's flight duration two. Only flight duration one, if it was like that. And it's very, like, the damage differential is pretty much nothing. So yeah, this is probably the best recipe to do it with. And it looks good. If you want to add diamonds in the recipe, you can, or a creeper head, or whatever. But, um, fire charge gives it more, um, range, so the explosion is bigger. Um, this is what I would think would be the best um, things to have when you're going in for PvP or pretty much any combat related thing. Um, have fully enchanted sword, fully enchanted axe with sharpness, both of them. Then just protection on all of your armor. Obsidian is nice to have because you can like block them and it helps you run. Golden apples, you know gives you extra absorption and regeneration and some resistance but if you can you try to get god apples but you know they're not they're pretty difficult to get and you might not want to use them golden carrots you don't need these they give good saturation but you could pretty much use any you know good food source 
ender pearls if you want to run away or chase them if they're ender pearling. Oak logs for crafting and for blocks. If they get in a boat, you can get a boat. But also, you can just turn it into a bunch of blocks. Cobblestone for crafting and for blocks. Trident with Riptide, so you know you can chase them. Shield, nice to have. That's why the axe is there. Um, crossbow um, with the fireworks, and also you can use the harming and weakness arrows. So those are pretty useful. Course root in case you get stuck in like a thing and are getting crit out, just eat it, and then you can escape. These potions are very useful, I would say have these. Um, it's ranked from least useful to most useful. These are pretty much interchangeable. This is extremely, like, you pretty much can't die when this is active. And this, like, really helps. These, this, this, these kind of cancel each other out almost. But, um, this is a little bit better. Uh, and, um, these you don't really need, but, you know, you can have them. And you can have a bunch of healing potions. To just, if you ever get low, just throw some and you're, you're fine. Milk bucket, yeah, in case you get poison or something like that. Bottle of enchanting, if the battle's gonna last really long, you might want to, um, like, mend your armor. And, uh, Elytra and fireworks. So this, these fireworks are both for this, for the Elytra and for the crossbow, because you can use them for both. Also, I would say have, um, multi-shot on the crossbow because it's very useful but you don't need it because if you're fighting one person you don't really, it's not going to change very much it doesn't increase damage but with piercing you could go through shields with these and yeah that's pretty nice um i already showed you that the armor choice um with th this is relating to um like fire protection and that kind of stuff so I would say have um, three kinds of boots but then um, everything else is fine because the way um, the protection works and stuff like that is um you only need one piece of armor to get the full enchantment so like if you have full fire protection it doesn't do anything more than just having one fire protection and everything else normal protection. So like, full fire protection is completely useless, full blast protection completely useless, full projectile protection completely useless. But if you have three protection and one of every, anything else, it maxes that, it out, so yeah. So I would have fire protection, blast protection, and protection boots. Um, boots because they can have frost walker or death strider so you can have you know multiple ranges of choosing also they don't have a lot of armor so if you misclick or something you don't lose that much armor um yeah and then just have a food and because if you get in lava and you have a fire prote protection piece of armor um you can just eat food as long as it's decent food and you just won't die, you'll you like you'll run out of food if you just keep on eating before you die. Protection, I would say always keep on the protection armor. But then if you're going AFK or if you're fighting creepers, then put on blast protection. Or if you're like m bed mining, blast protection. And then if you just fall in lava, just put on fire protection. Or if you want to use the frost walker, put on this. Yeah. Another useful thing you can do is um, get a really good boost if you use the trident when elytraing in water. So, um, just hold the trident, go in water. I don't know, elytra. Just elytra. You have to be like pretty much almost out of the water, you have to time it right, but then you get really high. I went up like over 100 blocks with that. You can just get up speed, leave, pretty useful. It's like you go three times as far, something like that, as the just normal riptide, it's very useful. Yeah. It's not, you can't do 100% of the time, but... And it's not always as good, but sometimes it's even better, so. And try to be um, almost out of, like, completely out of the water, just barely in it. 
Слава Богу. As you're leaving, you just try and, because then the water doesn't get in your way, and you get to launch. Because then the Elytra immediately takes over. That's why it's, that's why the combo works so well. So. Yeah. You go up about 100 blocks. Very useful. Yeah. So. Thank you for watching. Those are all some of the pro tips I have, and uh, like and subscribe if you want some more. Bye!